<laughs> Did I ever talk about in high school, I, I started to get threatening notes in my uh, locker? Dear God. I and apologized like, so... about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's how Overdue, we met. but I appreciate That's it. That's how we met. I got, no, I, I, I like, I- From Cameron I, Diaz? I, I, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Cameron Diaz, my, my, my high school classmate, may have been involved, but as far as I know, mm-hmm. there's, there was one culprit uh, who was ultimately identified. But yeah, I guess, so I, I, I had like a little locker where I'd put my musical instruments in. Um, and- uh, I, I opened my locker one day and there was a little handwritten note that said, uh, die white trash. Oh my God, that's wow. scary. Oh, die white trash. I was like, oh, it's a little ominous, but I was just like, oh, whatever. And then and then the next day, there was one. There was another another note, but this one, all the letters had been cut out of magazines, oh, like no. an old school like ransom note. And it's it spelled out die white trash. Why would like, Cameron wow, Diaz do trash. that twice? <laughs> I don't understand. It's the same bit. She didn't really heighten it. <laughs> you know what? But she was crafty. She went to craft class that night. She wanted to make a project. So she got some letters and made a like a decoupage of hatred for you. <laughs> uh, the next, <laughs> then I kept, I kept getting these notes. I got, this was like an entire week of school. Sure. The next day. Are you sure that this wasn't like one of those like notes that your parents give you in your lunch? <laughs> It, I mean, it was next to like some orange slices. It was for his parents. The a juice Capri box. Sun, a Capri yeah. Sun. <laughs> We're so proud of you. Yeah. My ecto cooler. Uh, it was no. This was this is when I was in high school. So this was I. I was bringing lunches, but it wasn't in my lunch. Um. Sure. But then I got I got another one that was. Yeah. Then I got another one that had like a like a a a a bullet shell like a like a shell <gasps> casing. Jesus. With it. No, Nick. That's and really scary. I was, yeah, and I was like, and but I was like, I knew it from Boy Scouts. I was like, this is too small to be a an actual gun. This is like from a you know like a like a pellet gun or something freak. like that. Um, then I got another one. Then I, I got the I got another one. This one, the decapitated head of a bird. The fuck? Okay, well, what the fuck? And then finally, I got the I got the rest of the bird with another die white trash. That was the what last. What the day. fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, that's really messed up, Nick. And I figured out. Is this a Fight my Club friend. scenario? It oh. was my your... friend pranking me. He'd that's... done this. He'd done a week worth of of insane psychopathic I pranks. I mean, I don't know whether to put a ring on it with him or to like <laughs> <laughs> never see him again. How did, how did that alter your friendship? Your friend killed the bird for this prank? He said the bird, when I talked to the lady, he said the bird was dead. He found a dead hey, bird. Hey, wait. How did that but alter your But I guess he dismembered friendship? a bird. Quote, unquote, when I talked to him later. Yeah. When I looked in the mirror and had a conversation <laughs> with my psyche. Yeah. Why did you do that, Nick? Yes. Why did you do that to yourself? Why did you do that to myself? Friend- were you still friends with this person after? Oh, yeah. Good friends. They were friends for you years. You know what? Part Jesus. Of me, part of me respects this dick, too. How, did they eventually confess? Like, how did you find out? Here's what I was like trying to figure out, like, how is this person getting putting stuff in my lock? Because it reached a certain point where it was like, OK, you could slip a note into a locker. But when it's like the the like a shell casing, I'm like, you can't just get that into a locker. You can't just like put that through the you know, the vent. Um, mm-hmm. Someone had to have access to my locker. And so I, f- I figured out that he must know my combination. And so I switched. He was a guy like a friend I'd like hang out with. And so I switched locks because like when I finally got to the got to the point where it was like, oh, there's some sort of, you know, uh, there's a dead animal in my locker. I switched locks. And then when I was putting in my combo in the new lock, I noticed he was kind of like hovering nearby. And I was like, wait a minute, it was fucking you. And he's like, ah, oh you got me. Yeah. I respect his long game. Oh, you got game. me. I carried that dead bird into school. I respect the <laughs> long game. Like that he was not, there was no, he was not going to give it up. Yeah, really. I respect it was, his it was intuitiveness. Wild. Why is, did you see that in the the private chat? There's a couple messages. Did you see that? Yeah, there's a message from Spoon Man. Uh, Die white trash. Oh, it says my name. <laughs> it says my name. Yeah, it says yeah. your name. And then there's an emoji, there's another, emoji of a. There's a, a bird emoji. Then there's a bird emoji. <laughs> it's a pigeon head. Wow. Wow. Grim. 